Hello Libra, welcome into your spiritual pathway reading. I'm going to be looking into a chakra spread for you and uh, of course there could be one message here that really helps you or the whole thing may resonate but follow your higher self at all times as always. You might want to check out your other placements, uh, the moon, rising, the venus or the north node. Uh, they should all be uploaded within a few days so do as you feel. So I'm going to zone into your energies now and see what's coming up for you. Oh, brilliant. We've got the camel energy. This is all about you having a lot of energy stored away to take you through a long journey. And the camel energy is very magical. We've got the crocodile on the bottom of the deck, which is interesting here. It's almost like, you know, there's something you're being really patient for or something that you know is a journey you've got to go on and you're willing to uh, make the necessary sacrifices but also to sustain yourself over this long journey so let's have a look what comes out show me show me show me root chakra okay we've got the knight of wands in the root chakra energies this is a lot of energy okay and again we've got the camel with the pyramids on this card so it's funny it's a funny ancient energy I'm getting through with this almost like you're doing a journey that many others couldn't manage to do okay but like holding your ground here okay in the sacral chakra we've got the ten of swords energy all right so we'll, we'll clarify this energy but you know, often when we've been in a relationship with somebody and it didn't work out, or maybe they were narcissistic, whatever, whatever the situation may be, we've got to kind of revamp our sacral chakra to get us in the mood to create again and to get us feeling full of vitality again. I can see here with the Ten of Pentacles in your solar plexus that you're very driven. And again, there's this idea of long-term uh, benefit or doing something that may appear on the surface to take longer, but that's actually gonna pay off way more in the long run. Let's have a look at that heart chakra, show me. The 10 of wands, again, that journey, that taking the long path um, and getting a bigger reward for taking that longer pathway because it's somehow higher a higher pathway, the road less traveled. That's the kind of energy I'm getting here. So you're not rushing towards things, uh, you know, in a, in a 3D way. That is playing checkers. You're playing chess and you're playing the long game. We've got the lovers here. In the throat chakra energy. Show me one more. Show me one more. Yeah, I feel like you're waiting to hear from, from someone here. This could be a soulmate energy. I feel like you're waiting for news to come in or you're waiting for a connection to move towards you. I'm hearing a sacred vow, sacred vow. So that could mean something to you. And of course, we have the Ten of Pentacles opposite the lovers here. So I feel like you're all about family and you're all about doing things properly. Yeah, Ace of Wands in the uh, Crown Chakra energy. Wow, Libra, this is a very powerful spread coming out for you here. So I feel like you're particularly driven at this time, but you're doing things the right way. You're not rushing in any way. Nine of Wands, this adds up to nine over here. So you're holding your positioning and doing something properly. That's the energy I'm getting here. I'm gonna clarify these cards. Show me this Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands, please, Spirit for Libra. Wow, the Hierophant energy. Okay, so there's something here about spiritual stability manifesting in the physical. So it could be that you've got your eyes set on marriage, a long-term commitment, something like that. It's a very tribal energy when you see the Hierophant and the Ten of Pentacles. I'm sort of getting the vibe that you're sort of turning away from frivolity or from shallow connections and you're really kind of, uh, what's that word they're giving me? It's like you're reserving yourself for someone special. You're, you're making yourself higher in value by refraining from doing things the way a lot of people do do them in the modern day world, right? You're, you're doing things in a more ancient, traditional way especially with the camel energy. This is almost like running from a familiar blueprint 
doing things the way the ancients would have done it with a high honor level and a high respect level here knight of wands with the hierophant so i feel like you're definitely reserving yourself for the one okay keeping your energy to yourself which is why you've got a lot of energy built up in the root chakra let's have a look at this ten of swords five of swords yeah so it's almost like uh you know you were put through a test or a battle uh you know previously i would say this has already happened because we've got the ten of swords on the table which means the pathway has ended and it probably made you have to pull on your warrior type energies with the five of swords here determined to not be taken down or swallowed whole by something or someone right so there's still a little bit of that energy in your sacral chakra but i feel like you can transmute this quite easily you can turn the lead into gold because you know the five of swords ten of swords it's quite heavy energy perhaps you felt like someone really did try to sabotage you or someone really went out of their way to hurt you here and if you were sleeping with this person if you were intimate with this person it's almost like you're going through a purging of that energy you're refreshing your chakra system and you know maybe keeping yourself quite uh celibate something like that really trying to cleanse out your energy centers and really now i feel like you only really have time for the real thing you're only responsive to someone who is truly destined for you who is truly the one okay i'm getting husband energy okay that could be wife if i'm talking to a man but i feel like if i'm speaking to a woman i feel like you only have time now for your husband you don't have time to date you don't have time to try things out and to really kind of you know go through hordes and hordes of people to date them or whatever i feel like you understand that the universe is going to bring you that perfect person in the perfect timing and that you can literally just keep yourself off the shelf because there's this energy of you already having some sort of idea of who you're going to be with okay maybe it's some sort of contract maybe you've been to a psychic and they told you you've got a soulmate coming up something like that here and we've got the page of wands so this could indicate to me that you're sort of ready for this new journey to to move into this ten of pentacles type situation with a very solid tribe a very strong family of people uh, and, and you know with the page of wands this could indicate a child being born or this could just be your enthusiasm to be in this situation yeah we've got the justice card on top of the ten of wands so i feel like to be fair to yourself and of course this is your card showing up here in the heart space to be fair to your heart you are no longer doing things in any way that doesn't suit you but but more you're going towards the real thing here that's really what i what i want to say going towards a true soulmate bond or connection oh my god look at this the ten of pentacles twice and you know what this is being thrown out you know this is being moved off of the table because wow something about the situation with the ten of swords really helps you uh, understand what you wanted in a divine partner in a divine masculine or a divine feminine here with the lovers and the ten of pentacles this is a pathway you're following your heart on this pathway and there's a real loyalty energy with the camel like you're willing to go without for a long time to get something that to you is really sacred and really beautiful so that's gorgeous seeing the ten of pentacles on the table twice and this is the justice that the universe is bringing in for you for all the hard work for all that burden that the ten of wands represents for the burden that was put on your heart previously well all that energy that was put onto you it's like it helped you to conjure up this much more beautiful and uh, solid and wealthy uh, situation here with the ten of pentacles the two of wands coming out on top of the eight of wands show me queen of wands here okay beautiful so this is you really coming into confidence here you could be you know improving your mindset improving your body but again with the queen of wands she's got a powerful way of manifesting a powerful way of setting her mind on something and knowing that what she conjures up she must have this is universal law this is you understanding the way the universe serves you 
and the way you are a portion of the universe and therefore your plans and your devotion, your devotion to this idea of this true family, this true strong family. Ten of Pentacles is a very sovereign tribe. It's a tribe of people that really respect the sanctity of the man, the woman, the husband, the wife and the responsibility to look after one another. And not only for your sake, but for the following generations, okay? And, and also, you know, these strong family units, they really do hold the universe in a stable, beautiful way that benefits a lot of people outside of yourself. It's the ripple effect, right? It's the butterfly effect. So I feel like whatever plans you're making now, and this is in the pineal gland, okay? So this is a psychic energy where you just know that when you send out your request, and you make plans and you stick with them and you've got full faith in them that they have to be fulfilled that you have to get what it is that you request from the universe so i feel like you're really convening with the universe here in a really powerful way with the eight of wands you could be communicating quite powerfully with your spirit guides and again there's this idea of a contract something you've been told about either through a psychic or intuitively all on your own here there's some some way they've got a message through to you to let you know you've got this uh the ultimate family waiting for you here show me this ace of wands seven of wands so this is freedom from the games okay freedom uh so this is the crown chakra so i feel like you had a lot of help with some kind of battle or situation the battle that the ten of swords uh, tells me happened already you're finding the way okay to free yourself from this and also to take back your power with the ace of wands so this could be something like you know you're going to use that power to help other people and guide other people because of course the ace of wands is a baton it's like it lights the way and with one candle you can light infinite other candles so that's just a side note but the universe was really on your side with some sort of situation here. Seven of Swords, Energy, Ten of Cups. It's possible that someone was sent in uh, to try and distract you from this most sacred connection that's coming in for you. They keep telling me sacred, okay, covenant, sanctity, all right? So there's something that's really made for you here. And with the Ten of Cups next to the Ten of Pentacles twice, the universe really stepped in to help you find your sacred anger, especially with the Queen of Wands being so feisty and full of that divine fire. Spirit really backed you up here. And I feel like you know you are the victor. You know you are the winner. And you know you are the one who has the power here. Ten of Cups energy. This is about you being really clear with the universe that this is what you want and this is only what you'll accept. And that's why it's coming in for you here. I want to pull one more for this Ace of Wands because there's such a huge force of will behind it. Three of Pentacles, okay, definite, definite help from the universe with conjuring up this family situation, okay? So that's looking really, really beautiful for you. I feel like you're doing everything perfectly well and I feel like you already know what pathway you're on and that you're going towards this, this gorgeous family energy. Let me have a look into the Seven of Swords. We can find some more out about this. And just to... uh you know just to be nosy really let's have a look show me the seven of swords yeah yeah some sort of sabotaging energy was trying to stop you coming into this uh, divine love and i mean the aces are all about energy coming from the highest realm possible all of the aces in the tarot are about that the divine gift of each suit divine energy so there's something here about someone or something and this could have been a narcissist here because we've got the devil on this card okay not wanting you to ripple out the energy of love all around the world and not really wanting you to come into contact with this divine masculine or divine feminine because it's going to like i say ripple out so much energy um into the fabric of reality when you two come together there's nothing more powerful than the union of opposites on a harmonious high frequency level so i feel like this really is a divine frequency uh connection coming in for you and i feel like someone tried to trap you here so you could still be kind of in your warrior energies you know maybe a little bit i don't know 
I don't know. I know what I'm like. Maybe a little bit PTSD or whatever. Ten of Swords again on the Ten of Swords. That's incredible. So, uh, yeah, I feel like I should say to you, you know, whatever this was, you probably already know you could be into manifesting or, or occultism or something like that. But whatever this pathway was here, this battle you went through, it gave you the cosmic power to pull in this connection. You know, we don't get anything for nothing in this world. We've got to pay the toll. We've got to put the energy on the scales and we get the equivalent energy come in. So this had to be a really hard battle for you to really get this Ten of Pentacles energy. And this isn't just about money, although I'm feeling a lot of wealth and a lot of ancient wealth and a lot of uh, ancient dignity that you had to embody to get you through this battle. But this is something really beautiful here. And we've got the star energy on the bottom of the deck. So you could work for the divine. You could be a star seed, a light worker, something like that. And this was sent in to test you, okay, to try and pull you away from whatever this Ten of Pentacles is. And I'm getting that it's a long-term marriage or commitment with somebody really beautiful and that you're kind of waiting to hear from them. You know, you're at the crossroads now. And with the Eight of Wands, I would say the energy is going to come towards you and you know that, or you've somehow been told that by another psychic or, or a medium or something like that's going on here. But you certainly have earned this cup of love. Let's just say that, Libra, you've certainly did the business and you know pulled out your club here and bashed someone with it metaphorically and again we've got that wand on the card so all the power's gone to you now okay in whatever situation you were in you were the conqueror in that situation it's like someone really tried to pull you into their timeline to pull you off of the path that is your true birthright with the justice. So I feel like you're really holding it down. You're really representing your true wishes, okay? You're not letting anyone pull you into a lower frequency situation. But yeah, they're just saying there might be a bit of residual energy from this battle. Someone very low vibrational you were dealing with here for all these cards to come out. The Seven of Wands, the Ten of... Uh, what, what am I saying? The Seven of Swords and the Ten of Swords twice with the Five of Swords. So it's funny I mentioned the Seven of Wands because you probably had to really put your guard up, right? <laughs> While you were recovering from whatever this situation is. Let's have a look. Dancer of Frustration. Okay, show me more. Spirit of Wisdom. Mm -hmm. So someone could be really frustrated that you showed so much wisdom and that you actually got away uh, from their games or their malevolence or something sneaky was going on here ancestor of exile so it's like you pulled yourself away and again with the camel there's this energy of you being at a distance from something and keeping yourself separated perhaps and this is sort of like an energy of refining your energies or getting yourself prepared for this connection or not wanting to let in any outside energies that could potentially sabotage what I feel like is your ultimate wish fulfillment. Wealth, of course, I was speaking about this before, but this is also about the uh, bonds that you share spiritually with the family that these Ten of Pentacles represent. Let's have a look. You could be hoping to really kind of escape some sort of situation or get out of your current positioning in life and move into a totally new storyline. So this is looking good for that. I feel like you really are on course here to experience this beautiful situation. It's coming in and the universe is really helping uh, the cogs to move in the background for you to get into this happy family situation. So there's a lot of patience and a lot of wisdom I'm feeling from these cards. We've got the Dance of Reconciliation. And I feel like this is reconciliation with a soulmate, okay? Someone you've incarnated with many times before. And I feel like you're being very patient and living the spiritual pathway and doing the spiritual work because there's something about your wisdom here with the spirit of wisdom that you really, you know, you do have some extra level of wisdom that not many people have. Now, this could lead to some fear because, of course, there won't be many people doing things the way you do it, okay? 
So it would be natural perhaps when we're running on pure instinct and pure psychic knowledge for you to perhaps doubt yourself sometimes or maybe, you know, wonder if this is really coming in. I would say yes, it's really coming in. We've got the hunter of death here, which is death of the lower self, death of the human self. And in its place, this energy moving in, this, this cosmic uh, love moving in, which represents your higher self moving into your consciousness so that would be the immortal self the self that you know does know it's immortal and does know that there's nothing truly to worry about and i feel like you're transforming into this you're, you're letting your higher self run the show which is the biggest gift we can ever achieve for ourselves okay a lot of people won't know what i'm talking about when I say things like that, but I think you do. I think you understand that you've got an immortal self and it's the players of the game who allow their higher self to really, really get in the driver's seat of their vessel, who really impress uh, the divine realms, okay? And really have true manifesting power. Once that higher self gets anchored in and it becomes your new normal, that's when the manifestations just, you know, continue to to come and please you essentially you could be getting so many synchronicities that it doesn't even shock you anymore that the universe speaks to you so fluently you know now i can watch something or think about something and it will appear on something i'm watching or i'll see it in the street i'll see you know my special numbers everywhere i go and these synchronicities become so normal for me that they don't even surprise me anymore compared to maybe you know 10 years ago when i would have it would have knocked my socks off, you know, to have that many synchronicities, but I feel like I'm speaking to a kindred spirit who understands on some level that, you know, your soul's been here many times before. And I feel like this time around, you want to really achieve something beautiful. You don't want to live the way other people live or the way, you know, it seems is the normal way to live. You want to live in a way that's normal for you. And that includes anchoring in your higher self and allowing yourself to be guided by the universe and to be helped and, 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 you know, helped and cajoled by the universe and loved by the universe. I feel like you've got a real strong connection to the universe itself and a huge amount of support here. We've got the shaman of purification. So again, it's, it's, it's you cleaning out those energies from old storylines, old relationships, and just letting your vibration get higher and higher and higher okay ancient energies will mean a lot to you whoever this resonates the ancients are with you i feel and really sort of giving you your guidance or giving you confirmation that you're doing the right thing and that what you're doing is very rare because not many people believe the way you believe but i feel like you're really uh doing your higher self justice and actually your whole soul group i feel like you're really uh serving the most high or serving your soul group or serving the higher planes really well by anchoring in this divine connection and by truly having faith in it yeah there you are again libra <laughs> okay so that's just confirmation that the universe is speaking to you so much and guiding you every step of the journey what is this higher world why am i still surprised when this happens on a reading Oh, that really excited me. The higher worlds totally combining with you because you're allowing the higher worlds to move through your consciousness by being uh, such a purified vessel and such a faithful person. There's so much faith here that it requires for the higher worlds to really blend in with us and to see through our eyes. And I feel like you're allowing them to do that because your faith levels are so high here that the higher beings can really work with you okay and they're taking you to this rare situation that most people don't conjure up because they don't believe in it you can't conjure up something you don't truly believe in and i feel like you're someone who truly believes in love truly believes in in there being that one special person for you and you've known it instinctively you've probably known it your whole life right you've known instinctively that you've got that one devoted, perfect partner out there. And we've got vibrational currency. So I feel like you're really, you know, focusing properly, spending your vibrational currency properly by having this purity of faith and the patience needed to really sort of, you know, have faith 
in love and to have faith in the higher worlds and you know whoever i'm speaking to you know the universe speaks to you you just know it let's have a look anything else anything else one at a time jupiter yeah that's what i thought sacral chakra again okay spirit okay so jupiter energy as you probably know is very benevolent and uh, you could have a specific jupiter placement in your birth chart for example i've got jupiter in my seventh house which is a great indicator again that's the house of libra but it's a great ind indicator of having a big benevolent marriage a big beautiful tribe they keep giving me the word sacred 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 so something about your sacral chakra here that maybe uh, you know you are working on purging out certain energies with this sacral chakra because again i feel like you could be having a child or you know even just with whatever you're creating in life aside from children there's something about you purifying the sacral chakra maybe by refraining from you know any relationships because i feel like you're so dedicated to this one person this is a beautiful love story i feel like this is a really gorgeous love story here you know we've got enjoy the journey wandering path and you know i feel like you are enjoying your your journey because you know where you're headed right so this is gorgeous here yeah wondrous universe walk in beauty so again, lots of lots of lovely energy here. You could be accessing versions of yourself uh, from ancient times, and really, you maybe you're someone who sees through the lens of the ancients because you've lived in those times. So you could watch certain movies or come across certain energies that make you feel that deja vu. Like maybe you feel like you really belong in ancient times, and you know maybe ancient Persia. That's the uh, spiritual energy that I'm connected with most of all. Uh, on a familial level but you know this could be ancient Egypt ancient Rome anywhere you know let me know in the comments what ancient places you resonate with because for someone this is a really really gorgeous love story we've got traveling lightly simplifying your life and again this is to do with the vibrational currency I feel like you understand that focus pocus we get what we focus on and the intention you put behind your deeds is very powerful with you so I feel like your intentions are very simple because you just want, you know, something that's really pure and something that's really beautiful. And I don't feel like I'm speaking to someone who wants a modern day relationship. And look at this. You're conjuring up miracles. OK, expect the wondrous to emerge. Tying in with the camel energy here. Like I say, this is like you're running on ancient blueprints and you know you're not supposed to just be in a relationship with any old person who's available, who happens to be born in your city. But rather, I feel like you know that you're in for a special, special relationship with someone truly, truly special here. This is absolutely beautiful, Libra. Okay, so this explains why you were getting so much help over here from the universe. Because you're totally protect projected. You're totally protected by the angelic realms. And this connection is completely protected by the angelic realms you will know who you are okay whoever i'm speaking to whoever this resonates with you will know that you are exceptionally devoted to the idea of the higher level of love true devotion true loyalty truly combining your soul with another person's soul you will know exactly who you are <gasps> May the universe guide me to my twin flame by the light of the full moon. Oh my God, do you know how many cards are in here? Look at all these cards. I very rarely pull that one out, but what on earth? Yeah, this is a special one. Okay, so this is like twin flame. This is the other side of your soul. So no wonder you've all, always been guided by spirit. Because despite what some people might want to think, we don't all have a twin flame, guys. You have to be quite an old soul to have a twin flame and you have to literally share the same higher self like these two over here. Imagine if these two statues were combined into one statue. That's a twin flame, okay? We've got the glow of the full moon reminds me of my intuitive purpose in the spiritual world. So again, with spirit here, okay, I'm initiated okay this is this is really making sense this is like you're an initiated being okay and you've been on the spiritual path for so long you could be a really old soul something like that but yeah you will know who i'm talking to you are one of the uh 
rare beings, okay? You're a higher being. You could even be a sixth dimensional being like me. And uh, if you are a sixth dimensional being, there are only three female sixth dimensional beings on this planet, three representing the Empress, and there are four masculine sixth dimensional beings on the planet. So if you are like me, okay, if you're one of the rare sixth dimensional beings, give me an email, okay? Because there's, there's only three of us on the planet. It gets a little bit lonely. We are technically that which they would call goddess, right? We've got, it's time to take action, new moon in Aries. So I don't know what you're thinking about doing, but uh, whatever you're thinking about doing, this is Ares, the god of war, okay? So maybe there's something you just need to uh, hear spirit say, you know, it's time to get going on. I don't know. You will know what this action means to you. We've got balanced spirituality and practicality. Full moon in Pisces, okay? So again, there's something about your spiritual purpose in the world and maybe fully embracing that and fully letting your higher self get in the driver's seat here. We've got work through your fear. So it's totally normal when you live in a planet full of people who spirit thinks are like asylum members to not want to maybe show your hand or tell the world who or what you truly are. Because if you're an initiated being, you're used to being underground. The old souls are used to hiding, okay, from the enemy team, essentially, over many, many incarnations. But the energy has shifted now. So even though our instincts tell us not to, you know, be part of the world and to, you know, keep ourselves slightly hidden... The energy has shifted, so it's a case of us having to have faith that we will be 100% protected when we're doing our spiritual work. Let's have a have another look here. Oh, Libra, you little, little initiated goddess, you. There we go, soulmates again. How beautiful. Oh, this is gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, we've got flexible. Okay, maybe you're just naturally flexible. You know what? I've been stretching at the gym lately. How bizarre. Um, okay, peace on the bottom of the deck. And we've got time to go and flexible. Okay. So I feel like it's game on for this situation. This will be a heads up for somebody. Okay, that it's you're ready. All right, you're ready to move into this connection that it's coming in really quickly. I'm going to clarify this flexible card. Let's use these. Let's clarify. Show me flexible for Libra, please. Show me flexible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's have a look. Many options, but let's have a look if we can narrow this down for you. The moon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like you're not going to know when this comes in. It's a bit confusing. Knight of Wands. In fact, I think it's supposed to be a surprise, but I feel like with the flexibility energy, they want you to literally... Um, Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. They want you to be open to the impulses that will come in from your higher self here. Okay, we've got death, energy, transformation. So this is about you maybe going in a direction you didn't think you would be going in before, but following the impulses regardless. I feel like you've got a lot of options here with your spiritual work. Okay, let's have a look at the time to go card. Okay. Number nine, energy, spiritual completion, show me, strength, yeah, strength, wow, so all your strength is really paying off in waiting for this one person, maybe keeping yourself to yourself for a long time, really alchemizing your mind, body and spirit into being a sacred vessel for this most sacred of unions, let's pull another card, this is too beautiful, I don't want to stop this reading because... I really wasn't expecting this to come out on this spiritual pathway reading, but this is gorgeous. Okay, the bat energy. So you could be really, you know, keeping yourself to yourself, okay? And if you're an initiated being, if you're a goddess, a god, or, you know, then you won't be able to share much of your stuff with other people. Yeah, this is all about the nighttime, okay? This is all about the nighttime and the moth energy on the bottom of the deck. So something about you may be coming alive at night, your senses heightening at night. And really finding your power in the night time, okay? I'm getting for you to meditate at night time. When everyone else is asleep, the airwaves are much clearer. And also exercising at night time. It does something different to our bodies compared to working out in the daytime, okay? 
but this is happening for you. Okay, I'm speaking to someone who is a rare being and you've taken the road less traveled, cliched I know, but you've taken this ancient kind of pathway because that's just who you are and it's just the lens of consciousness that you see through. But I'm getting that you'd be a multi-dimensional being, okay? So you may feel very different at nighttime compared to how you feel during the day, okay? So, wow, yeah, your strength has paid off, Libra. Wow, I really hope you love this reading as much as I did. It's been beautiful picking up on these energies. And uh, actually, I'm gonna just quickly, quickly pull you a little angel card for the road. Let's see, angel card for my lovely Libra, please angel card okay you deserve the very best that life has to offer always aim high and reach for the stars so this beautiful beautiful connection is coming in because you wouldn't accept any less and it's something that's yours you deserve it okay this is something that you've probably conjured up in a past life and, and now you're coming into contact with it in this life so you've waited a long time for this We've got love your body, it nurtures you, it carries you, give it the respect it deserves and it will continue to treat you well. So that's a little message for you also, maybe a little heads up or whatever. But Libra, this has been gorgeous, okay? I absolutely love, love, love this reading. And I hope you have too. Let me know when this manifests, okay? Because it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous ancient family unit all rejoining up together in the modern world, so... It's going to be beautiful and uh, I love you loads.